I'll be really surprised if Apple just gives it up here, uh, unless the Chinese take some action against them over the weekend, which would be a complete disaster for the stock and for the market. But we're getting close to the two times range for, for 441.83. What range might that be? Well, 212 down here to 323. That's the two times range. Now, I kind of hinted, but I'm starting to think Apple might get itself up to 500 plus. Is it possible? It is possible. Um, I think some of it will depend on the market and China and, you know, the virus and all that, but every retail trader, Robin Hood type, I mean, they might pull a Tesla with this. You know, where they just pile into this. You have all the fractional shares now of people who could own this. There's not a huge short interest like there was in Tesla. So I don't want to, you know, give anyone false illusions that you're going to see this thing at a thousand. But, and Apple's a much bigger, you know, market cap and so on and so forth. But I do think if there are pullbacks, and there could be because, you know, this closed high and the market makers may have priced in a little bit, you know, might have gotten burnt on this. I do think the path of least resistance here for Apple, assuming it doesn't lose the breakout, could be potentially up to 512.66. You know, I remember in the heydays of the dot-com, and I, 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 I... does anyone remember what Qualcomm did when they split four for one back in the uh, dot com era? The stock was up literally a hundred dollars in the regular trading session leading up to the split, and then another hundred dollars in the after hours. I remember when I got filled on the stock, I didn't get a fill um, confirmation until the stock was eight dollars higher from where I paid. For